The existence of time delay in input-output relations is an important case in process modeling and control. Time delay, which is also known to be dead time, can be originated from the process itself. The use of process outcomes of the process input again are the impossibility of the synchronous measurements of the input and output signals and the side effects may occur in the stability and transit characteristics of the process as a result of the delay effect. Therefore, it is usually improper to use the usual control methods in which the time delay is not considered for the design. So now, let me introduce to you the another type of control system which is the coefficient diagram method. So what is coefficient diagram method? Coefficient diagram method is developed and introduced by Professor Shinji Manabe in 1991. But who is Shinji Manabe? For a small background about him, Shinji Manabe was born in 1930 in Tokyo. His educational background is an electrical engineer. He served two years of education at the Ohio State University in USA. He joined the electrical and electronics industrial film Mitsubishi Electric Corporation in 1952 and engaged in work for 38 years related to the control system design of various industrial products. So, go back with coefficient diagram method. It is an algebraic approach applied to a polynomial loop in the parameter space where a special diagram called a coefficient diagram is used as the vehicle to carry the necessary information and as the criteria of a good design. The performance of the closed loop system is monitored by the coefficient diagram. So let's go to the advantages of the coefficient diagram method. First, the design is easily understandable and systematic and useful. So therefore, the coefficients of the CDM controller polynomials can be determined more easily more easily can be determined more easily than those of the PID and the other types of the controller. The, this creates the possibility of an easy realization for a new designer to control any kind of system. So second there are explicit relations between the performance parameters specified before the design and the coefficients of the control of polynomials as described in. For this reason, the designer can easily re realize many control systems having different performance properties for a given control problem in a wide range of freedom. So, third, the development of Different tuning methods is required for the delay process of different properties in PID control. This is an outstanding advantage. Next, it is particularly hard to design a robust controller, realizing the desired performance properties in an unstable integrating and oscillatory process having poles near the imaginary axis. It has been reported that successful designs can be achieved even in these cases by using CDM. And lastly, it is theoretically proven that CDM design is equivalent to linear quadratic design with the proper state augmentation. The CDM can be considered as improved LQG because order of the controller is smaller and weight selection rules are also given. So, let me now introduce you the coefficient diagram. Mm. Figure 1 shows the standard block diagram of a CDM diagram. CDM. Here, Y is the output and R is the reference input. U is the control and is the external disturbance signal. The symbol X is called the basic state variable. And S and DS 
are the numerator and denominator polynomials of the transfer function of a plant, respectively. It will be easily seen that this expression has a direct correspondence with the control canonical form of the state space expression, and x corresponds to the state variable, variable of the lowest order. AS is the forward denominator polynomial, while FS and BS are the reference numerator and the feedback numerator polynomials of the controller transfer function. Since the transfer function of the controller has two numerators, it resembles to a two degree of freedom system structure. AS and BS are designed to satisfy the desired transparent behavior while pre-filter FS is determined as zero-order polynomial and used to provide the steady-state gain. So, with this diagram, we will come up with the output of y is equal to ns times fs all over ps times r plus as times ns all over ps times d. So, thank you for watching my report. And that's all.